Right, gonna get a chapter done this week uh, just before I got training. I forgot to do one this week. So uh, chapter 10. I came into the office hungover most mornings. As the people used to see me like this, nobody really looked twice. I showered and shaved each morning as much to try and sober myself up as it was to keep myself clean. I worked in the Navy and my drinking had transferred seamlessly from military to civvy street. I'd become an Olympic standard drinker. Usain Bolt may do 100 metres, but would he be able to drink 20 pints of lager and have a race? No chance. I'd done some of my best running while escaping from cops, thugs or bouncers. I pissed off at 2am, complete shit-faced. My boxing career ended in the Navy, partly due to my drinking and partly due to being a chef and those motherfuckers working us to death with very little downtime or adequate facilities for training. I was disappointed by the drinking capabilities of the call centre crew. Most were lightweights who were pissed after two hours. Cocaine, cocaine wasn't really needed in the Navy as we were hardcore drinkers but I found the civvies needed, some, needed to bang more of that shit up their noses to carry on drinking. I didn't need drugs, but I liked them. Due to random drug tests in the military, I largely abstained. However, over the years, I did fuck up a few times with weed, cocaine and heroin. I sniffed lines of coke off the arses of pretty whores in the Times Square bar that doubled as a whorehouse. My shipmate, Scott Shal found the place, the dirty cunt. New York City was a great run ashore. Rest in peace, Scott Shal. I smoked heroin on the midnight train from Portsmouth to Swansea while shit-faced on white cider and taken under the wing, wing of a black Cardiff drug dealer called Percy for the 55 minutes train ride from Cardiff to Swansea. Percy had a large scar running down the side of his face caused by a samurai sword attack from a rival drug gang a few years before, he told me. I had no reason not to believe Percy's stories. He certainly looked the real deal, standing well over six foot and a muscular build for a smaghead. Come out with me tonight, Ten. We'd sell this shit and save, some, save ourselves, go party and then get some pussy. I made my excuses. I didn't fancy strutting around my home city, pumping smack with a Cardiff geezer who's obviously going to be kicking some poor fucker's head in later. For a jack bastard, you're alright, Ten. Got a few jack fuckers down here that owe me some cash. I won't be as friendly to them tonight. We shook hands, exchanged numbers, and after leaving the train station, we went our separate ways, thank fuck. While in the toilets of a shitty commuter train, racing through South Wales valleys, I chased a dragon for the final time. I never saw Percy again. That's a true story, huh?